Hey, it's Ryan from Muffet Supply, and in this video, we're gonna be installing a Vantec H1 ladder rack on our Ram ProMaster City. Let's get into it. So just a little bit of bench work before we get onto the vehicle. First thing I do is open the box, put everything on. The workbench, make sure everything is there. Your install instructions, which come with the kit, has a parts list on the back of the front page. You know, it's just good practice to go through and make sure you have all the hardware and components in the kit because nothing's more frustrating than getting halfway done and finding out you don't have one bolt to finish the job. So the next thing we're gonna do is there's just some bar guards we want to apply to our two crossbars here. If you have three, you're gonna have three crossbars. If you have the aluminum kit, these are applied a little bit differently. The aluminum kit has a channel in the top of the crossbar and uh, there's a little rubber bar guard that you're just going to uh, push in place. Now if you have the steel version like we have here, they're gonna be little uh, self-adhesive uh, strips here that we're going to unroll and place on these bars. Now the trick here is just to make sure that you're four inches from the sides um, so that you have enough coverage in the middle of the bar and there's no interference with our uprights. You know, the, the main thing that's important here is we want this centered on the bar guard, so you just wanna make sure you have at least four inches on each side. So I just took quick measurements on each side just to kinda familiarize myself with what four inches look like from the side. And we're gonna get this centered on the bar. Pretty simple, it's just removing this backing. I'm just gonna do a little bit at a time so that I'm not getting it stuck to itself. Okay, so I'm just gonna peel off a little of this backing here. Not all of it, just give me a nice section to get started with. Got my tape measure kind of below so I can see where that four inch mark is. All right, with our bar guards in place, we're ready to get started on the vehicle. Okay, first things first, we want to actually mount our uprights on one side of the vehicle. I find it's easier to put one side of the uprights on first, then come through with your crossbar and your other side, slide the crossbar in, put that one in place. Um, and so to attach these to the factory mounting points, uh, your poor Master City already has uh, pre-threaded mounting points on the vehicle. We had a ladder rack on here before, so you can see you know, ours is exposed like this, but it might be just in frame there that there's a little black cap. You may have those black caps that you need to remove first uh, before putting on uh, these, these uprights. Now, the way that you attach these uprights is first you're gonna have this little plastic spacer like this. You're gonna have these two little O-rings that are coming in the kit. You need to put these in the two outside uh, places on the bottom of it. And then this is going to angle inward. So this is gonna go over those two holes. Then you're gonna wanna take one of the hex bolts, a lock washer, a washer, and then there's like this poly foam washer um, all together on a bolt here. And we're gonna put it through one of our uprights. It's gonna go through one of those. And we're going into the threaded mounting point. And I'm not gonna get it too tight yet. Let's get my other one here quick. I'm just gonna get this in here by hand. Make sure I'm not cross threading or anything like that. All right, they're in here, they're not coming out, but I'm not gonna tighten it yet because I wanna get the full system kind of in place and aligned before I tighten it too much. The big thing to, to note about uh, mounting these uprights is you kinda want to make sure that they're at a 90 degree angle with the side of the van so they're nice and level on top of the van. So you just kinda look at it, make sure that that's sitting nicely. Um, and you're gonna do that again when you tighten everything down. So we're just gonna do this for the rest of the mounting points on the van. So again, we're only doing one side of the vehicle right now. We're gonna do the other one and the crossbar at the same time. Okay, now I'm just gonna slide this crossbar into that up right over there. My spacer right here, my up right over here. Now I can attach the upright to the vehicle. Again, I'm gonna leave this loose. I'm not gonna over tighten it. I want there to be some play in here because I wanna make sure everything's in alignment before I tighten everything down together. Now that I made sure the upright is in alignment, I'm just gonna tighten this with a 10 millimeter socket. Now the final step in securing these crossbars to the uprights is using these self-threading screws to go through these pre-drilled holes in the upright. 
Just help me out here. I'm gonna pre-drill a hole here, just slightly smaller than the screw. So I'm not sitting here forever trying to get through steel. Now on this rear crossbar, one step you wanna do before you attach the crossbar to the uprights is get your hook and loop strap. If you want this permanently on the ladder or on the crossbar, you need to make sure that you put it on before you attach it to these, cross, uh, to these uprights. And the way that you want to do this directionally is it kind of shifts to you like this with the label pointing up and this red little strap pointing down. You want this to be facing towards the rear of the vehicle just for the direction of the Velcro and all that to work out uh, in your favor. And so you want to take it like this and then uh, there's the little metal hook or a loop um, on the bottom and you want to put a crossbar through this little loop that that, uh, that hook also goes through. And then we'll go into our upright on the driver's side. Take my upright for over here. Put my little spacer beneath it. And then I can finagle this and line up all the holes. And I'm just gonna get this finger tight for now and then I'm gonna go align everything. Get over here. Just looking at this little black spacer down below, make sure this is kind of centered in the groove for the mounting point. Make sure that my upright's kind of at that nice 90 degree. Uh, if you look straight over there, I'll look at the other side. It's gonna be adjusted slightly. Okay. I'm just gonna take my 10 millimeter and tighten these up. Now I'm just gonna make sure that this crossbar is centered, that there's no, that when I go through these two holes in the back of the crossbar, or in the back of the upright into the crossbar, that's actually gonna go into the steel. And I found it's just 100 times easier to get these in there if you pre-drill a little hole. There we go. Now you want to make sure that you do this on all four corners, just two. I do them on the back side so they, you know, you don't see them from the front. And then our crossbar will be secured. So in our final step, we're just going to put on our little accessories here. This is a ladder stopper. This is what you can use to really, you know, you put a ladder on here and you run a rung up against here and it keeps it locked on the ladder rack. Um, so this doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out. We've got a little carriage bolt here and a little hand knob here, depending on which direction I find it's better on the back uh, to put the knob and you just slide it through and you tighten it and then you'll position this where you want it. Now there's also a ladder guide. It looks almost exactly the same as it, but it doesn't hook on the top here and usually you know if you have a three bar rack sometimes you'll put it on the middle rack to kind of keep the, the ladder in alignment. If you have a two bar like this you know it's up to you really um, but you can put it on the back um, next to that hook and loop strap to help keep that ladder in place. So I'm just gonna take a quick measurement between these two crossbars, see what kind of ladder we can support. This is, come on, let's hook on there. You're gonna have about five foot 11, so put a six foot ladder on there, and I don't know, that might be kind of tight. Let's try it. Just have a six foot ladder here. Man, I don't think that's gonna work. So if you do want to mount six foot ladders at the top of your ProMaster City, you're going to want to get the three bar kit. So again, you want to, you can kind of see that right here, you got our ladder stopper. Got it over that, you want to push this all the way forward and usually what I like to do is have this push up against the upright and you can even slide this, you know, wherever you want to kind of keep it locked so it doesn't shift too much up here. And we can take our ladder guide in the back, push this over, keep it locked in place back here. And we got our hook and loop strap. And 
And there we go, we've got our extension ladder uh, on this ladder rack. And that just about does it for the installation of this Vantec H1 ladder rack on our ProMaster City. This is a 2016 model year, but it's gonna be the same basically for all of the ProMaster Cities out there. Like we saw in the video, if you do have a six foot step ladder, you wanna make sure that you get that third crossbar that's gonna go in the middle here that'll allow you to put those shorter ladders on. Um, the two bar works good for extension ladders, but it's basically six feet between those two mounting points. So you gotta make sure that you have a third crossbar on there if you wanna do the step ladder. Now, if you're looking for this ladder rack or any other equipment to upfit your van so that it's work ready, be sure to check us out at upfitsupply.com. Again, my name is Ryan and have a good one.